Welcome back, and it feels good to be back in Gran Turismo. This time, though, they've released a new update, uh, which I'm going to show off one of the new cars that's in the new update in a second, and talk about a couple of the other cars as well. But it's just very, very polyphony to release an update as soon as I move away from my steering wheel setup and move back into uni. So I'm doing this on a controller, but Gran Turismo 7 can still be enjoyed in VR with or without a wheel. Wheel makes it incredible, but without one, it's still pretty great. So this isn't actually the new car, but this is an example of what one of the new cars is, which is the Vision GT series, I think. They're not real cars, they're concept cars, and the two cars that have been added in this update that our VGT cars are like this. They're concept. Some of them don't even have interiors, but some do. But this is one that's been previously added, not one of the new ones. And I actually cannot afford <laughs> the new one. But here it is. I believe this is the new one, the X Gran Berlinetta. Wait, Berlin, Berlinetta. And there's also one that's being added soon. This is for a million credits. But the one that's been added soon um, in February is probably the worst <laughs> car ever to be added. Because to get it now, you have to spend four and a half grand on a watch um, to be able to be given access to that car. Or you have to wait until February. And that's exactly what we're going to do. However, let me show you the other brand new car that's been added, which I'm actually quite excited for, even though it's a really weird one. So let's go and have a little look at it before we take it into a race. And here it is. It's the Jiminy. I always like to link my videos back to a bit of Iceland trivia. You know I love Iceland if you've been around the channel for a little while. Um, the country is just pretty amazing. And this is one of the cars they use for rentals very often, I believe. And again, it's got all that classic Gran Turismo style and detail to it. They modeled everything incredibly well here. Um, and the Jimny is, is something I didn't expect to be added to the game. Lovely detailing all inside here. I think there's an entire cafe menu dedicated to this thing, so let's get it specced up and then we'll take it out for a spin in a race. Short track reverse, only three laps, so not, not very many laps. Let's give it a go. This thing's gonna be bouncing, I think. Yeah, we go. Yeah, okay. Okay, so they are fairly, they're quite small actually, smaller than I thought. It's kind of cool seeing a load of them here though, you know? I think our requirement again, like, like usual, is to finish in the top three. Just abuse the other, the other drivers to get there. What a stunning looking track this is as well. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Held it. There's going to be a lot of contact in these races, I think. This is so cool. <laughs> My um, mirrors are going slightly mental. Uh oh, they're catching up. I guess it's one of those mirrors, the, the left and right wing mirrors are kind of like the ones where, you know, from Jurassic Park, where things look bigger than they actually are. We're on lap two, okay. We've only got one guy to go, but I'm struggling to get in front of him. And I don't want to completely overcook it on this corner, which I have almost just done. Right, we're ahead. But not by much. Come on, get the power down, let's go. I said this in my last video using a controller as well, but the adaptive triggers are something you miss on wheel. You get a lot of other um, great things, you know, obviously. And it's overall a more immersive experience, but I forget how good, like, good the adaptive triggers are in this game. Oh, there we go, lovely. I really like this Jimny so far, I really do. I think I might have upgraded my car a little bit too much. But honestly, this is I think this is 18,000 credits in the game, so it's really not that much. It's basically nothing. And it's such a fun little off-road car. I might be mistaken, but I think it is... It is a K car, right? And I kind of forgot that when I was first looking at it. It just handles the, the terrain really well. I'm looking forward to how the dirt tires are gonna come into play. God, the mountain ranges back there look so good. I wonder how the actual terrain around here, like the, the mountains and everything, look compared to uh, the real thing. Do you reckon those are scanned or do you reckon they're modeled? I think they might be scanned. I don't know. But I think that's it. The checkered flag. A lot of fun. Let's see the next one. I love the look of the suspension on these things as well, like, look at that. Because these are all-wheel drive, right, so... <laughs> there should be some benefits from that I can take advantage of. 
Is it a traditional 4x4? I think it is, right? God, these racing softs are very, very... Like, look at the... Look at, <laughs> look at the weight transfer. What the hell? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I'm still a really big fan of these wing mirrors. Oh my god, I'm going to crash. <laughs> Goodbye, yellow chimney. I know, I haven't really raced too many um, Suzuki's in this game. Uh-oh, uh-oh, lost a bit there. I don't really remember racing this track that often. Because obviously I've done them all because I've completed the campaign, but I think it's because I'm racing the tracks in VR, whereas before, I did the entire campaign before the VR mode came out. So it's just different seeing them in this, you know, medium rather than the flat screen. Man, it looks good though, doesn't it? I want to race on like the salt flats over there. I don't know if they're salt flats actually, but I want to race on the flats over there. Give me the crew in VR, please. I was, I was speaking in the comments to somebody about that a couple of weeks ago. If the crew motorfest got VR support, I would never leave. I really wouldn't. Because I do love these racing games, but imagine an open world racing game. And across the line, okay. One more race to go. I wanna I wanna see what the last track is. Two laps. Simply two laps. It's not a very long race. This one is gonna be interesting. Alright, let's Oh, a little bit of air. Oh, he's tried to close the door there a bit. Oh, okay. Okay, did not mean to do that. But I'll take it. This is chaotic. But you know what? We're weaving through. Nice. Okay. God, the, it's kind of weird. The dirt effects are good. But in the distance, they're kind of hazy. I don't know if you can see that. The car's up front. It's very, like blocky. Whoa! <laughs> oh, the head haptics there are sick. But up close, the dirt, the dirt effects from the tires and stuff look really sick. God, the head haptics on each jump are so good. It really helps sell the impacts along with the sounds. The sounds aren't overdone, they're just, they're just right. God, what a cool track this is. Okay, we're on the second lap. It's about 1 minute 50 lap then. Oh my god. That's a lot of air. Okay. We've got to get on the gas now. That's a lovely little corner. Oh no. Still right behind me, I think. Yep. Following alongside. That's so sick. I wish in a multiplayer you could look over and look at other players like that and they'd, they'd see your head movements. I think I just killed that car. Because I don't think they do in multiplayer. I don't think that the head movement is tracked. Bit of air. Oh my god. It's kind of how the, the head haptics rumble throughout the entire headset. It's not just the front. So it feels like your entire head is getting that adaptive feedback rather than, or haptic feedback even. Rather than just the front where the actual motor is. It's quite clever. Here we are, Jagged Flag, the final race. Lovely. Alright, before we go get a reward and do this roulette ticket, I want to show off one of the VGT cars to kind of get it across why I'm not so much a fan of these ones. Uh, so we'll head... we'll go to Monza for it, why not? Okay, so this is an example of one of those cars. Uh, and you'll see what I mean by them being incredibly weird as soon as we jump in, because... Um, well, as you see, there's no cockpit. If I slow down, there's no cockpit camera. I can put my head through, but it goes into the wireframe mode. You can kind of look in, and I technically am in there. But I think if we look down, nothing else in the car is modeled apart from that, that just that steering wheel, you see? And, and the... You're instead relegated to sitting kind of on top of the car. Which is incredibly weird, although it does offer a really nice view of the entire track that you're on. And the sky, which you don't usually get, uh, being in the cockpit of the car. 
But yeah, this is kind of why I'm not really too big of a fan of these ones, is because some of them, I think one of the new ones might have a mold interior because it's like an open tops car. But some of them just don't, like this. And it kind of kills the immersion a little bit just to be sat on top of the car like this. I'm not really a fan. But what can you do, I guess? Yeah, that's kind of the explanation of why I don't really like the vision cars, the concept ones. They're, they're cool for people to be able to kind of get their cars and, you know, showcase them to the world without having to actually make them a real thing by putting them in a video game, but it's it's just, I don't know, not for me, not for me. Right, and to wrap us up, let's go take a look at the roulette ticket. I enjoyed that those Jimny races, though. What a, what a fun little car. We're probably going to get nothing, so don't get your hopes up. As is the way with Gran Turismo. But I'm, I'm hopeful. I would, I'd be happy with, oh my god, a Lamborghini. Nope, we get the second smallest amount of coins. As much as I would love a Lamborghini, 30,000 credits is what we get. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching as I get rid of um, this car out of my sight. Have you played the new Gran Turismo update? What do you think of it? If you have, have you completed the Jimny Challenge? Please do let me know in the comments below. So thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.